hello Lomzi team welcome back to my channel it's your girl Lomzi I'm back again with another tutorial yeah today's sewing tutorial is a requested video I made a video on how to make a spaghetti dress using African fabric with four and a half yards now um a subscriber requested I make another video on how to make a spaghetti dress with three yards of African fabric she doesn't want it that full so that's what i'm going to be making today yeah my friend my friend i am sorry i'm making this late yeah that's because we don't get to be paid on youtube the, the only way we get to be paid is maybe if people are watching our adverts and all that you know so most times it's hard for us to get these things for us to do this video but if you want to support my channel you want to support your girl uh, i know you will not be watching the adverts all the time i will start premiering my videos my sewing tutorials so that you will be able to have the chance to super chat me when you're super chatting me you just anything you have you can you know support your girl with that so i'll be able to be giving you continuous unstopped sewing tutorials yes so um i think i'll start with this video to do the premiere so that you'll be able to have the chance to super chat me or send me stickers that way you're supporting my channel yeah and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorial so you can join my facebook group sewing tutorial by lumsy where you can you know share pictures of the dresses you have made out of my sewing tutorial you know i love to connect with my subscribers please join my facebook group sewing tutorial by Lomzi. i'll be dropping that in the description section so that you go ahead and follow me now for today's sewing tutorial let's go sewing yeah you have to pay attention here because i'm going to be showing you some sewing tricks and tricks that you're going to be using to make your maxi dress sit properly on your dress yeah this is beginner friendly so you just pay attention it's not that calculative it's something you can work with so what you have to do is i have here three yards three yards of fabric and i folded it in four let me show you see this is three yards of fabric and i have folded it in two this way Yeah, and normally you fold in four this way, right? Yeah. So now if you fold it like this, what you will have is 54 inches, right? Yeah, if you want this to be longer than this and you want it fuller than this we're making today, you can make it three and a half yards and, you know, fold it in two and in four again. I hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, so what we have to do now is to get this like this we fold it like this so that we we'll get our bias shape out of it you see how we're getting <laughs> the dress is already forming right i know somebody is already seeing her dress in this <laughs> yeah so what you have to do is if this is by three and a half yards this would be fuller what i mean by that is if this was to be three and a half yards by the time you drop it this way this was this is full right but when you drop it like this this will make it fuller again it will make it more fuller than when it's dropped here so if you drop it by three and a half yards what you will get so that you'll be able to get enough length on this side that's why you need three and a half yards but if you don't have three and a half yards, not to worry, just go ahead and place it like this. You place it like so. Some of us don't like our dresses that full. So once you have it like this, you are good to go. Yep. Another tip I am going to be showing you is if you want this 
to be longer than this with your three yards when you have this like this you cut out this place and join it to the lower part that way you can increase the length of your dress just the length of your dress not the flay you know you just increase the length of the dress yes that's it <laughs> so another tip i'm going to be showing you is i see some people when they want to cut their flay they just go ahead when after folding it like this they just go ahead and start getting their um, bust measurement this way no you have to get an edge where you're going to be walking from so for you to do that you have to do this i hope you're seeing what i'm doing let me sh shift it this way yes yeah, so you do this by the time you do this what is your guide is making sure that this is like this you have a straight edge to walk from you can see that right yeah so another tip what i do is when i have it like this what the first thing i have to check is if i have gotten my bust measurement if i get my bust measurement then i can be able to cut out this side so let's try to see our bust measurement is 44 divided by 2 okay we have 11 inches here so we can start working with that so what i would do is to cut out this place to get the straight line so let me cut that out yeah when i was recording where i took the measurement for my bust round the bust measurement my camera went off so on your armhole depth you divide your bust into four and whatever you get yeah. that's what you're going to be adding for your bust run bust measurement we are going to start by doing our shoulder to armhole depth right yeah remember this is a spaghetti dress so we are going to assume whatever the length of our strap would be that's what you're going to be starting from now if you want your spaghetti to drop lower than this you can do that but i'm going to be starting mine on six yes yeah another tip i am going to be giving you is your armhole depth is supposed to be for a normal dress with sleeve is supposed to be 10 inches but because it's a strap dress we are going to do that on nine inches from your shoulder to your armhole depth so i am going to be marking that here like that that's a tip number how many <laughs> two or three okay i'm going to be showing you tips and tricks on how to go about this yeah so the next thing we have to do is to get our length of dress for us to do that remember we have taken away six inches so you hold this like this and you go for the length of the dress you're working with yeah so i'm using 56 inches i will drop that here and i'm going to be going around to get the 56 inches like that you still hold this here like so and get your 56 inches yes so the next thing you have to do is to determine how wide you want your spaghetti to be the span of the spaghetti i mean from one end of spaghetti to the other right so what you have to do about that is that so many people like their strap to cover up their bra strap so what you have to do is to divide your bust pan into two what i mean by bust pan is your nipple to nipple measurements you take from one nipple to the other which is whatever it is mine is nine inches you take that and you divide that by, by two. And that is always where your strap runs, your bra strap runs from. So once we have it like that, I will divide that by two. What I will get is four and a half inches. Half, I'll add half inch sewing allowance to that. It will be five inches. That is where I'm going to be starting my spaghetti strap. Yeah, so what you have to do is to get this like this. 
and again for the front and back neck they are together so you come lower like that it depends on how low you want your neckline to be but usually don't make it lower than the armhole so that it doesn't drop too low so i am going to be dropping it like this you can see basically this is it it's so simple <laughs> So the next thing I have to do is to measure, to mark out where I'm going to be adding my pocket. Pockets are so, so important when you're making maxi dresses. So I am going to be dropping that on 18 inches. I have a video on how to insert a side pocket. So I'm going to be dropping that so that you'll be able to know how to attach your side pocket. Yeah, so this is where I'm going to be marking for my side pocket to be. So once I have it like this, I am going to be cutting these things out. Remember, if you want to add to the length of your maxi dress, you can cut out this one and add it to the length. Yes, yeah, so I have it like this. I am going to be cutting this out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and do so below. And hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be the first to get my video you don't get to miss any of my videos i have another tip i'm going to be showing you so Hang in there. Now we have it. You can see how full it is. You see how full it is? Yeah. It's fuller than when you're dropping it normal. See how full it is? Yes. So that's what you're going to do. Now I am going to be showing you a tip on how to get your spaghetti strap the length of your strap so what you want to do is remember what we did was six inches right yes this is going to be on the drop shoulder it's going to be landing on your drop shoulder you know when you're making your dresses and you do your shoulder length and you slant it one inch below right yes when you slant it like that it means you are taking out some inches from the shoulder so what you're going to be doing is instead of you to have your spaghetti strap you know what we did is six inches meaning times by two 12 inches instead of you to cut your strap length to be 12 inches you cut it to be 10 inches that way your maxi dress will not be dropping the armhole depth will not be dropping i hope you got that yes so with that we have come to the end of today's sewing tutorial so see you on my next video. Bye, yeah. Thank you. You can see the outcome of the dress. I hope you're loving it as I'm loving it. It's so comfortable. I love the feel. <laughs> my maxi dresses are, are my everything anytime any day yeah yeah my guys remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorial now if you want me to do a video on how to sew this do drop that in the comment section and i will be glad to do that yeah i'll be waiting for your comment i'm always there to see whatever you're posting so just go ahead and tell me what you want in the comment section tell me if you like this or not as for me i'm so loving it you see it's covering my strap so i can wear my bra and be comfortable and all that yeah so see you in my next video Bye, yeah.